ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video and um, I wanted to actually get home and assess everything before I actually talked about it. But if you guys are OG Haggard members, a lot of you wish we got back together. And you guys know I tried to do that with obviously buying the Jenny, buying the little Miata that could, buying the Mint Van, buying Cam's car back fixing up Cam's car so he can drive it again. And you guys know we went to the LZ compound and stuff and we had an absolute blast in that thing. After that, we dropped it off the Cam. He actually ended up fixing the diff and everything and his car is A-OK -okay now. So I would love to meet up with him again and actually go drift with him. But you guys watched Orion's video. He had uh, my response to Chris Rodnick. And to be honest, it actually went a lot better than I anticipated. I think I was at Ebisu when I first saw that video. Everyone was blowing me up about it and stuff. And you're like, yo, Orion finally responded, like this is it. And I was like, oh man, this is gonna be drama city. Like what did I do? Cause I'll be the first to say, and I'll be the first to apologize. Like I had these big goals and I had these big intentions of getting everyone together, but um, I probably went about it a little wrong. And I, I already apologized to him and everything. And to be honest, like we've had our fair share of differences, but everything is just so old and stuff. And to be honest, I'm, 100% cool and all I want to do is to get together with everyone and make some banger content once again So it seems like Orion's on the same page about that and I'm really stoked about that and ever since I saw that video I've been kind of keeping tabs. I've been watching his kick page I've been watching all of his videos just to kind of see where he's at and stuff because obviously we haven't been in contact for a very long time And I kind of wanted to see his vibe and all of that stuff and it seems all good I see that he's working on a stock NA16 Miata and he's actually going over to Dan's shop to get the roll cage or the half cage done in that thing. He's actually close to um, where I live and I think he's either going to come by today or he's going to come by tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be in this video but um, regardless definitely stay tuned for that because um, we're, we're going to be talking for the first time in person in probably 10 years which is insane to think about because like middle school high school doesn't seem like that far away but at the same time it's just a different world so going back to him building his Miata his 1.6 Miata he's getting it ready for a Lebanon drift event that's happening on May 25th it's cur currently April 20th happy 420 to all my stone bags out there I am not that guy no more it just gives me so much anxiety I can't I can't I can't deal with it you know we did it a little in New Zealand and it was fun for a couple times a couple times I wanted to die because every time we would do it um cal would be like yeah like just just rip this thing rip it i'm like oh okay like sure he's like yeah it's dirt it's dirt I'm like yeah cool like i'll rip it and then immediately after like four or five hits the dude like he's like all right you're getting to work you got to get in the truck you got to do this you got to do that like, oh it's there's some videos on patreon if you guys want to check it out they're actually quite funny but not in the fact happy 420 and going back to Orion's drift event. He's going to a drift event August 25th. I actually hit him up last night and I was like, yo, um, would it be cool? Like I have the little Miata that could right here. It needs a little bit of work. We got the blueberry hard top on it um, because the other one doesn't have a back window. So I decided to get all the crap cars out of the shop and to start putting the nice cars in and just kind of saving some room. There's no point of having this car in there. There's no point of having the bucket in there so they can, they can sit outside. But this car is not 100%. Last time I actually drove this car was in Colorado with Trevor. We went to a uh, track and to be honest, like this thing's a dog. It's super slow. It's very underpowered, but this thing actually drifted a lot better than I was anticipating. So I hit up Orion, I was like, yo, if you don't care, let's link up in Lebanon. Let's get some doors. Like I see that you have a 1.6 Miata. I obviously have the little Miata that could right here. It's a perfect platform to kind of just drift together for the day. Like by no means is it gonna be the coolest door to door action. Well, it might, but by no means is it gonna be LS3 car or the chaser or anything like that. But I think it's gonna be a good time and I think it can, kind of get the vibes and get everything exciting again and all of that. So I think that's a great starting point. But with that being said, we need to, oh jeez. Every time someone drives to buy here, here they are, they're always ripping by. Anyways, the thing started overheating and I just quickly opened the hood and I realized the serpentine belt fell off. So I just went to AutoZone real quick. I got a new serpentine belt. When we were actually transporting it back from Colorado, the fender flew off. 
So I, of course I have every Miata part under the sun. So we ended up just popping a fender on it. It's green, but it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. So we're just gonna get some riv nuts. We'll riv nut this thing back. Oh, they're actually riveted on, hell yeah. But um, yeah, we're gonna throw some riv nuts in. I'm not the biggest fan of rivets because if anything happens, you gotta drill them out. And it's just a nightmare. I don't like it. Riv nuts, way better. Anyways, we'll do that. We're gonna get the car over there, change that serpentine belt, and just get this thing ready for Lebanon. Obviously, it's a stock 1.8. There's not too much prep that we need to do. I'm actually kind of excited to drive it because it's a really cheap, fun event, and I think it'll make for some good content. So, with that being said, let's move this thing over here, and let's um start working on it. Well, it wouldn't be a haggard car if it had a good battery, so we gotta jump back. <laughs> I really wish this was still a 1.6. I feel like this just like kind of complicates things. Like, I don't like all those red wires and stuff. We're not doing anything crazy to this thing. Like, it runs. It, if it runs and it drifts, it's good enough for me. Did this have power steering when you drove it? No. Nope. Nah. Nope. It doesn't, huh? No, no power steering. I think but it's, it's weird because it has a pump. Is it? I thought it was looped. It's got a pump. And it's got a belt on it. I'm stoked that it's just missing the serpentine belt. I never even checked it. It's got no water. Hmm. That's cool. All right, let's um dig into this thing. Let's take it apart quick, put a belt on it, let it run, and see what happens. You think that's an 11? Hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. Still got it, man. Thanks, man. I just know I just know the eBay clamps. <laughs> Those T bolts. Let me, know, let me know if you ever ran into a nine. Have you ever ran into a nine before? No, ever? That's what I was saying in Sam's shop. Is like, why do they sell the wrench set with a nine? But they never know. use a nine. Throw it down in the comments. Have you used a nine? And if you use the nine, what the hell did you use it on? And it doesn't count if like something is stripped, like a ten, and it was like real stripped, and you bang the nine on. That doesn't count. Yeah. I'm talking about a true it, nine millimeter bolt or nut. Nine yeah, head. <laughs> Yeah, like, head. And your shelving doesn't count from Ikea or anything like that, okay? It has to be a car part. Yeah. Ah, it didn't fall all the way. Thank nice. God. I guess we can take this off. I guess we don't even need to. We'll just pop that off, move that bell out. Oh, this is fucking easy, dude. Yeah, I love that. Back to Miatas from Jay-Z's. Dude, no, honestly, the, the 1J is super easy to work on. So now that we're home and everything, I fell in love with the 1J. I know Carlos doesn't watch these, but when I posted something on my Instagram story, I was like, ah, I'm kind of falling in love with the 1J. He was texting me, blowing up my Instagram, because I mean, if you guys know when I lived in Florida, I always made fun of Carlos and said the SRs were better than the 1J. Don't get me wrong, I love my SR, but I don't know, I almost am siding with Carlos now. I agree with it's Carlos. It's beautiful. <laughs> but talking about 1Js, we have this beautiful JZX in here. And like, I haven't done anything with this car. Like, obviously, Silver Coils, they were kind enough to sponsor me and they sent me out some coilovers and stuff. We put the KDF front angle kit on it, we wrapped it, we put some 57 DRs on it. But other than that, like, we've done no maintenance, we've done no driving, we've done nothing. So now that I am familiar with the 1J platform, I have been slowly collecting parts for this thing. Like, Ben from Artec, Artec Performance, they've helped me so much. And I kind of feel bad because we haven't used any of the parts yet, but I did say that it was going to take me quite some time, but we got a nice Artec manifold for this thing. We have a nice G30 Garrett Turbo for this car. We have a Link ECU. We pretty much have all the high ticket items for this car, and I would love to do pretty much everything that I did to the Chaser to this because if we have the G30 in this thing instead of making one bar, maybe we can make two bar. I'd love to see 500 horsepower out of this bad girl. That would be nice. You know, we're gonna hit up Serial 9, see if they're willing to um, work with us and stuff. We can do the reinforced subframe, we can do all the arms, we can do engine mounts, we can really make this car something special, really start bringing this thing together. I would love to get this done before the LZ Invitational. It's a bit of a stretch. That's coming up on May 17th. It's a lot of work. The work is easy. I can get this whole car done in a week. I know I can. It's just a matter of getting some money together and getting all of the parts here in time in order to make that happen. But that is one of my goals. I really want to do that. Anyways, we're off. Topic, let's go back. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, man. I've loved traveling. It was fantastic, but what I have missed the most 
is my tools. Like I have every single tool for every, is that a 13? That's not stock. That's not stock at all. But I have every tool for every problem because every time I ran into a problem, I would just buy the tool. Like if I ever have to borrow a tool from someone, I would always just buy it because it's just nice to have what you need, you know? Dang, dude, a breaker bar that's about to split open. It's nice, right? Cool. All right, now we'll loosen the alternator bolt, pop that off, and then um, put the belt on, fill her up, and let her run and see what happens. Oh, you know what happened? Come over here. Oh, so, here, let me show you on this engine if there has one. It doesn't have one. All right, well, I can demonstrate anyways. All right, so this is where the alternator is on a Miata. How the tensioner works is there's a bolt here that lets you with a block and it lets you slide. But in order to do that, there's a bolt that goes there. The bolt's missing. Oh. So if the bolt's missing, the alternator's just gonna go like this over time. Serpentine belt's gonna fall off. But you can see, I'm kind of a Miata hoarder, you know? I love my... <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Nice bolt. Hold on, uh, ADHD off topic, come over here real quick. So when we were gone, I wanted to get all of my greasy parts, all my dirty Miata parts, because honestly, I was never gonna do anything with them if they're dirty and sludgy and stuff. So I literally filled up the bed of my truck, drove the zinc coder, and was like, listen, dude, here's all these parts, do what you can do, and if you can't do it, I'll know for next time. And he did every, look, look at this. <laughs> this is my little zinc shelf here. We got a front zinc subframe, we got a rear zinc subframe, bro. We got a fucking drive shaft, dude. <laughs> and at, this is the demon. This is so sick. Yeah. I, no one's ever gonna see it, and it like doesn't matter. But it's so funny that I have a gold drive shaft, yeah. you know. And I'm definitely gonna put it in a car. But I gave him sway bars. I gave him brake lines. Mm. I gave him arms, lower arms. I literally gave him everything, and they did everything. The only thing that was a little bit of a struggle because we have to take these apart and I know that for next time. I mean, this is fine because it didn't have any seals or anything, but was the brake calipers. When I said I literally gave him everything, I literally gave him everything. So he wasn't able to finish this because um, it'll damage the seals and stuff. So if you want to get your calipers zinc coated, you gotta take all the seals off. But he said um, he'll do that for free because I didn't know that and I already paid for everything. But to be honest, it actually wasn't even that expensive. Everything that I zinc coated was $800. And like, if you put that in subframe terms, like to powder coat a subframe is anywhere from, depending on where you go, is like 150 to 400 bucks. So the fact that we got all of this shit zinc coated and like all of this hardware, this was the new batch, all of this hardware, all of this stuff as well. Like, look, dude, look at how sick this is. That's nice. Like, I, I probably will never use this many reservoirs, but like, it was cool to just drop it off and have them do it. Where's the fuel rails? All of these fuel rails, he just um, zinc coated. It came out so nice. All of this for $800. So, I mean, it's just an easy, cheap thing that you can do that you just drop it off, like sludge parts, like I didn't clean anything, I didn't do anything, literally dropped off the greasiest, grimiest parts, and they was done in like a week and a half. So definitely, that was super cool. If you're a Connecticut local, I'm, I'm not a gatekeeper of any sort, I'm gonna link them in the description if you guys want to use them. They are very fair pricing. Like, he actually told me, because he originally quoted me at 800 bucks, and since it was a lot and there was a lot of like paint stripping, a lot of sanding, because some of the parts, the acid didn't get everything off. And he was like, next time, if you drop this much stuff off, it's probably gonna be around 1200 bucks, which is still a killer price. But they, like I said, they're a really good company. And they're like, since I told you 800 bucks, it's $800. So that was awesome. I'll link them down in the description. Not sponsored at all. Just like if you want cool zinc parts, I like to support companies that do cool shit like that. So off topic, I'm gonna find a alternator bolt. So I'll see you in an hour. All right, boys, well, some good news is we got the belts on, everything is all good there. I filled up the power steering and I actually got the power steering to start working, but I know why it went bad. It's a little split in the hose right there. So uh, we got Chuck over here on the job. We just got a random rack laying around and it's so annoying. We just did a scrap run because I've been trying to organize the shop and stuff. We just threw away a rack with that hose. Of course, right? The one time I actually want to like, you know what? Let's clean this place up a little bit. Let's get rid of some stuff because 
I don't use 95% of it. We could have used that hose. Yeah, the moment we throw it out. Seriously, but it's all good. We At least we have one right there. I usually have most parts for all of this stuff. So we're going to replace that one. And this, on, this thing should probably be ready to rip. I still got to do the rib nuts there. I have brand new tires for the other wheels as well. We're not going to run 195s. We're going to be running the 175s at 90 PSI because this thing is slow. But I think it's going to be fun. I'm actually really excited about it. All right, boys. Well, the little me out of that could. She's back up and running. All she needed was a little love. The alternator belt on the bottom was completely loose, just like sitting there. It wasn't even threaded in the alternator at all. There was no um, tensioner bolt to actually pull the alternator back. And then we fixed that rip in the hose. We just put a new hose on it. It's got power steering again. And we just filled it, bled it. So she should be all good in the neighborhood. Chuck went ahead and he self-tapped that. We we're gonna rib nut it, but hey, I ain't complaining. It's fine. It's the little Miata that could. It's obviously not beautiful whatsoever. It's kind of an eyesore if I'm being honest, but hey, it's a story that matters. We're gonna take the top off real quick, go for a little test rip. Don't expect much. Call that a success right there. We got a Miata. Watch it super weird on this thing. Ah, uh, power steering. You gotta love it. It's the little things, especially in a Miata. Oh. It's got to be that wheel. Oh my god, dude. The wheel is going to fall off, bro. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? Do we have all the lugs this time? Yeah, no, they didn't even feel fucking loose. This is crazy. This is so good, bro. You can't make this up. I hate life at the moment. Well, here we are, just backing all the way down the hill. That's kind of scary. At least we're on a hill. Dude, how weird does it look? Woo! Just a bump, everyone. Did all the wheel fall off? Throw it down in the comments below. Ooh, the turn's a little sketch, dude. <laughs> turn's a little sketch. Oh, now. oh shit. At the bridge. Here we go. Hold on. Oh. oh. How did we make it back all the way to the shop? Actually, I shouldn't say that. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting like tunnel vision. Well, here we are. Well, we made it. Why the fuck is it overheating still? Oh, I feel like messed up from that. That was weird. <laughs> all right. Well, looks like we got some work. Yeah. I think this is Celsius, so that got up to 120 Celsius. It's pretty hot. That was probably like 230, which isn't the best. Water pump, unless the belt fell off. Ah, the belt's there. It doesn't even feel that hot. Does it feel super hot? No. I wonder if that cage is bad. Unless it was in, I'm pretty sure it's in Celsius. Can we fuck around and find out or what? <laughs> Jesus. Bro, it's not even overheating. <laughs> that would have exploded. 
exploded if it was overheating. Yeah. So Christ is averted there, I think. And it felt like it had all the power. I mean, if it was overheating that bad and the engine was super hot, it would retard the timing. You know, and it would be a fucking dog. All right, what do you think, Chuck? We'll, uh... You think it's loose? Yeah. It looks loose. Oh! Dude, that wasn't like that a second ago. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh. Yeah, let's, let's just stand here. Oh let's my god. That was a good test drive, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why the front was loose. I don't think I've ever taken those wheels off. At least that one was kind of tight. Look at the spacing on the caliper. Oh my god. That's wild. so long like well, you go from this to 17 unions <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's a pressure fitting it doesn't leak though they did well don't tell oh i was like don't tell me this is held in by <laughs> zip ties but it's for that yo look at this this is good you turn the lights on oh it didn't do it did you see the blinker before no oh there, there's a light so it doesn't have any high beams it's got low beams though Dude, when I turned it on for the first time, the blinker went on. That was fucking rice blue. What the, <laughs> the little boost cage? <laughs> oh. Doesn't it sound a little slow right here? And then it's like you get VTEC, ready? Oh, there's the smoke. Dude, 
I'm actually excited to let a fucking little light bow D drive this thing around. The power steering, that's a game changer. This is by no means a nice car, but it'll be fun. Yeah. You know, he's gonna have a bone stock. But honestly, I think a challenge should be either him or me put a nice little ding in the door. Maybe not a ding, but like a tire mark. If it's a ding, it's a ding. You know? But like you're, you're, we're gonna have to be floored in these things. So like actually I don't know how it's gonna go. Like I would like to think that we will be able to hold it down, but like Yeah. I don't even think that dude's got a high truck. I got Definitely nothing. Have, yeah, you have nothing either. Yeah, maybe he'll just do all the lead and I'll do the chasing. That'll be fun. I'll like that. Alright, we're rambling. Um We'll see you when we get the tires on. All right, so as you guys know, Rudnick has got the little me out of that could. He's got it all jazzed up, ready to go, fresh swap in this thing. So we're going to Lebanon on the 26th. We are gonna get doors together. I have my Miata. I don't know how many of you guys know, it's just a stock Miata. Dan's got it right now, he's doing a roll bar. We're gonna bring it back here, cut the knuckles so that I can actually have decent angle and we're gonna convoy out to Lebanon. Yeah, so let's see if we could get doors together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, dude. Let's see what happens. Shit is about to get wild. You guys have no idea what's been going on behind the scenes. If you guys wanna check it out, we're gonna be updating Patreon. Pretty much, hopefully, we're going for every single oh, day man. right now, it's so. so. It's so funny that we're talking. Yo, <laughs> he's so ready, funny. dude. It's so funny. It sounds like we might be going to pick up Orion's car today, so. Definitely get hyped. There's a lot of things that Orion and I have been working on over the past few days. And honestly, things are looking really good. So subscribe for more. Stay tuned because the next few videos, we're really going to be um, talking about a lot. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.